Hello everyone, Thijs here and this time with a video about the new Hearthstone game mode Mercenaries. I've been playing Mercenaries a lot. I've been playing in the top 20 Europe in the PvP mode and I have been playing it now for a week almost every day at least for 10 hours. So I, I have I can say I've been playing a lot. I think I have a pretty good grasp of the game itself and I've just been really enjoying the game. But I got some questions uh, from my community a asked uh, and I decided besides answering them 100 times a stream to just make a special video about it as well. So uh, where I answer the main questions that uh, people just kind of are wondering. How to level fast, how to get the most coins, how to get the more quests or quest specific and a good starting beginner comp for people that are mainly free to play. First, how to level fast. Uh, for this, I'm gonna go over to the main client as well to show you. How do you level your units the best? So maybe at this point you already have a few like good units, but you also are having uh, quite a bit of units that are not leveled that well. What is the best way to level? Let's say I really want to now level Cornelius because I want to play him so badly. Gruel, and I want to play, let's say, Illidan. And they are very weak at the moment. They're not gonna win fights either. So how do I level them just the most efficient way? The best way to level them is to uh, use them in a combination of three others that can speed them up. So what I can do, I can play Samuro, I can play Zarela, and let's say I play Kareel. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna face the hardest boss that I can. So what I will do is, I will go into here, I will fight the Blackrock Mountain, heroic boss, I will play against him and I will just only use my uh, starting comp of Zarela, Samuro and Kirill. I might not win the whole heroic ball, uh, the, the whole fights or all the fights, but I can get really far. By just banking the heroes that I really want to level, uh, you get the most experience. This is the best way to get experience or to get uh, the most together. Go as far as you can with the strongest units and you will see, after even 3 wins or 4 wins, the heroes that you had at level 1, they are already going to be level 15. It's going to speed up really fast. At the end, it's going to be a little bit slower, but still. It's a really good way to start up leveling and get, uh, get levels going on the units that are very weak for you. Doing it all the way from the start on a very uh, and trying to do it with themselves, it just doesn't speed up. Don't do it. Just go directly. Go with your comp that you have been working on already. And that way you level up your other units very well. Second question. How to get the most coins and how it kind of com combines as well a bit with how to get more quest and quest specific. So the best way to get more coins are two ways. One, quests. Quests in general are giving you really good rewards. If I complete one task, I get 50 coins for the hero specific and I get two extra random. So basically for finishing one quest, I get 70 coins, which is a lot. It's a really good amount of coins. So in general, do your quests, very important. Also, when you just started, you might still have the story mode going on. Follow the story mode, it's giving you a lot of rewards during the way, um, which also benefits you a lot. Second way is doing just PvE. PvE gives you also good rewards. So what you can do is, every time you beat a boss, it gives you coins, as you can see. All of them are, uh, the further you go, the little bit of the more rare coins you can get, but also at the start already, whenever you defeat one of these bosses, it at least gives you already three times around 10 to 15 coins. So you're getting close to 50 coins by just defeating one boss, which is very good as well. Um, as you can see, you see hero specific coins. So let's say you really badly want to level your Rokara. Look for the bosses that give you the Rokara coins. You can see here, these two are giving you very specific Rokara coins. So if you really are in the need of getting more Rokara coins to equip a better weapon, to level your abilities, um, look for the heroes there. Um, it's getting a little bit harder when you want to level the legendary heroes because they often have only one specific fight, but it's still very good. How can you even get coins faster? Quest specific task. And as you can see, the first tasks, they are all giving you 50 uh, coins specific for the hero. Then they are even after level seven, they are giving you even more with 60 and 70. So if I want to level my Sumuro and I, I already am at task seven now, you see, I have already gathered um, more than 300 coins just doing Sumuro tasks. If that's not enough, I can keep continuing with more quests for him. 
There are ways that I can force that I will always get a Sumeru quest. So what I can do is, and this is a really little bit of an, maybe a bit of a glitch in the game, but something that you should really do. What you can do is, you go in the Barons, you go in heroic mode, and you fight the air elemental. This is very important. The air elemental is, whenever you fight him, he guarantees you that you will get a rare thing. So as you can see, there is a mystery here. The mystery is very important. Till two fights, I can already find a mystery. You will see when you are doing more difficult bosses, there will also be a mystery, but the mystery is gonna be way further in the fight. You need to do five fights or something. But here it's already after two fights. But what I'm just doing is, there are uh, most of the time or quite a lot of the time, you only need to do one fight till you get to the mystery. So you can just basically retire I just keep retiring till I get only one fight till the mystery. And here I am. I now have only one fight to the mystery. The battle against the air elemental is very easy, so you can farm it really easy. And by going to the mystery, I have an, uh, a bit of around 25% that it gives me a quest. You have a quest, you have a potato, you have a blue portal and you have a sabotage. I don't know if the odds are all the same. Whenever you get there, it can give you an extra quest. So basically, TLDR, for one fight against, against Mr. Death Health Cultist, I already have a chance that I get a quest, that I get, that I get 70 uh, coins. 70 coins is a lot for especially one fight. So what I've been doing is, I've been just, let's say, I've been uh, grinding uh, PvE sometimes even for three hours, where I've been only doing this, and I've, got, I've gotten over a thousand coins just in... Uh, in less than uh, three hours. It's very easy grind way. And the very cool thing is you can even do it specific. So what you can do is if you want a quest farm and I just want to quest for my Sumero, what you do is you go in a fight with only three heroes. By going in a fight to only three heroes, it guarantees me that I will get the quest on, on all of these three. So that way I can guarantee the quest on Sumero. And this way I can get a lot of Sumero coins or anything. You can do this with any hero. So if you are like, especially with the legendary heroes, this is pretty important because coins are way more rare there. So let's say I really want some Lich King coins because I really want to update abilities. I want to update the weapon and everything. What you do is you're just fighting like this. And now every time I get the mystery and I get an extra quest, that way I can get myself a lot of uh, Lich King quests and that way a lot of gold. It's a really, really good way to farm the coins, guys, and especially to farm the coins for the hero specific. Heroic, elemental, air elemental level six. The reason you pick the air elemental level six is because it only has one fight and it guarantees you a mystery. The fights before, they don't guarantee you a mystery. So that's why. Then we're going to the next one. And the next one is um, the best way to free to play. So I've bought some bundles or I bought the Diablo and the Lich King bundle. So that way I have a bit of an advantage, but uh, most of you, you don't. So what is the best way for a free to play comp? I will uh, help you a little bit as well. I've been posting tier lists on Twitter on uh, my t stream as well. So please, if you look for tier list, uh, look that up to give you a bit more of an idea. But the best way of a free to play comp is a uh, discomp. I will say Kirill, Sumeril, Zarela, Rokara, Tyrande, Millhouse is the best free to play comp to start with. Even if you're free to play, at some point you open packs, you get maybe legendaries or you, you have some better epics. So this comp is just purely free to play. It cannot get more free to play than this. What is good about this uh, free to play comp? The main three that are really good at free to play in this comp are Zarela, Sumeril and Kirill. Even at the highest uh, ranks in the top 50 Europe that I'm playing in, I'm still using the Zarela Sumero comp quite a lot. People are still using Zarela Sumero Kirill. These are just three really good units, uh, specifically Zarela and Sumero. The synergy between these two is just really strong uh, between the first ability of, of Zarela and the first ability of Sumero. It's, an, it's just one of the best combinations that even gets played at the highest ranks. So don't feel bad about starting with these three. They are just three really good units. Rokara, Tiranda and Milaus are a little bit less. so. If you have any, if you got yourself some legendaries, if you have some good epics, some cards you really wanna, you really like in general, these three are very replaceable. Rokara is 
Rakar is pretty good. Tyrande and Milau is a bit less, but it's the best way you can go when you're free to play. But in general, Zarela, Samuro, Kuril, use that as your main comp, as your free to play comp, and you will get re really far. You can beat any boss uh, at some point, at least, whenever you level your uh, heroes. And the best way to uh, use your coins on both of the heroes are use the first ability of uh, Zarela. This is the ability you mainly use. So just level this first ability. And on Samuro, also level the first ability. And this way, you can get very far in any PvE match. That was it for this video. I hope it was quite educational, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, I hope you are having fun in the mercenaries. And thank you very much for watching.